So now let's work on these two inputs. So I'm gonna remove them because we're gonna have them as a component. So we're gonna go to the source. We're gonna have another folder. Let's call this components, okay? Components, and inside this we're gonna have you know, a lot of different components for example like for the home we're gonna have components for the home page for the profile and every you know aspect of our projects and one of them is gonna be called inputs okay and in this inputs we're gonna have you know some inputs okay we're gonna have one for the login and also one that's gonna be used in the register okay and this is gonna be for the login and the the components of the the register is gonna be this one okay so we're gonna create this one right here now and we're gonna work on it okay so inside this inputs we're gonna have another folder so this is going to be very organized so this is going to be login input okay and also we're going to have another folder which is going to be for the register input okay like this okay and in the login input as we do usually have an index.js and rfc right here we're going to remove this because you don't need the, you know to import react anymore and this is going to be called login inputs okay and this is let's Put it right here okay and we're also gonna have a style connected to it so this is gonna be style.css and we're gonna link it on the on here so I'm gonna import it okay so import and we're gonna import the style.css not css okay so now if we went back to our application right here we can simply like call this component okay so I'm really remove of these two and right here we're gonna call the login input as you see right here we're gonna have the opportunity right here to auto import it okay and you're gonna close this right here okay so it's a self-closing component okay so <clears throat> sorry so this one right here we have an uh, error so this is gonna be styled i always mess it up okay so as you see right here in the component this is what returns okay it returns as this div that's inside this login input but we don't want that we're gonna return an input so this is just a better way to have uh, you know a better components because we're gonna have other things that have uh, you know for the um, errors and other stuff so this is just what simply how to do it so right here we're gonna have a class name for this let's call it input wrap for example okay and this is gonna be the input so let's work on the css so this is gonna be underscore so let's work on a bit on the css so if we're into the styles let's select this this is gonna be position relative okay we're gonna see this why later because we're gonna have other components inside there's gonna be absolute position so you're gonna have display flex and the flex direction is gonna be column and also we're gonna have align items to be sent okay and now we're gonna select the input inside and now we're gonna work on it so the outline is gonna be none and also the border we're gonna have the border so the border for the for the input is gonna be one px is be solid and also the color of it is gonna be this one okay so it's gonna be bg third okay third and as you see right here it's gonna be this way uh, still a lot to do with the styles so we're gonna have a background which is gonna be var and it's gonna be the bg primary so it's gonna be white okay also let's see what else we have the width is gonna be 100 percent okay so it takes full width the height is gonna be 50 pixels okay the font size is going to be 17 pixels let's see what else the border radius is going to be 10 pixels also we're going to have the padding left 10 pixels so the text is going to be uh, inside that's uh, you know moved a little bit from the left also we're going to have margin bottom which is going to be 10 pixels so now we have this spaced out and also we're going to have the color to be var and then we're going to have uh, color primary okay color primary color primary and also now if we went back right here and we have like a placeholder so this is going to be passed as props we're going to talk about him a little bit from now so it's, if we have like a placeholder for example like email address or phone number this is just an example this is going to be the placeholder and it's moved right here okay so this is exactly what we have right here okay and we're gonna have two of them okay so this right here we're gonna have two of them and the properties are gonna be passed so in vx you can pass properties in the components and you can take it from the, the components itself and then you know fulfill it here okay so this was wrong so for example let's remove this right here let's remove everything from here okay so this is a normal input that we have so for example if you want to pass like a placeholder so like we can just go right here and we have a placeholder 
and right here we're gonna pass a placeholder that we want so for example we have right here this is gonna be email address or phone number so let's go right here it's gonna be email address or phone number okay so this is a property that we pass in the component so this placeholder you can go here and then we can extract it from the props and it's going to be take the placeholder so the placeholder that we pass right here we can just simply go right here and the placeholder for the input is going to be simply uh, this is not a string so this is going to be a value a variable which is going to be the placeholder that we passed in the props okay and as you see it's been shown right here so we can go also to the second one and add the placeholder and here right here is going to be password okay so password and as you see it's been passed as a prop and it's going to be shown this way also we're going to pass the type and other stuff so it's quite so right here let's pass the type so let's go right here and then we pass the type the type is going to be text okay for this and also we're going to pass a name which is going to be email and also right here we're going to pass the type which is going to be password and also the name is going to be password okay so the name is going to be password and you formic it uses the name to know which value it refers to so now this is the name is password so that it knows that there is a variable that is called password and it gets value using that okay so i'm going to explain a bit further so first of all let's go back to the index so as you see we define the type to be password for example right here and it's uh, you know chooses a string so we're going to go back right here and we're gonna go to the props and we're gonna get the rest of the props okay so instead of like naming every you know variable that you're gonna pass you can just spread the props and you know you can access them directly from here okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go and const and we're gonna get the field and we're gonna also get the meta and we're gonna use the use field from formic use field and it takes the props okay so let's let me import the use field say import use field and it's going to be from formic okay so right here we can go back to here first of all we need to spread the properties of the field and also spread the props in the input and now we can pass anyone anything that we want so for example this is the password first of all it's going to give us this error because it's not you know linked to a value but before that let's go right here so in the input let's go type and the type is gonna be from the field and dot type, okay? And all it does is gonna get the type that we passed right here, okay? So this type that we passed right here is gonna be this one right here. Also the name, which is the other property, which is gonna be field dot name, okay? We see we get a problem because as I said, the name name is used to define a variable. So as you see right here, there is no variable that is called password, so that's why we get an error, okay? So and the way that we define you know variables right here, so we can go back to formic right here and then right here we're going to define the value so initial values and inside this right here you define the values that you want so email and you're going to define the you know the first value of it which is going to be null okay which is the, the default value and the password also it's going to be null okay but i don't want to use this way because now it's going to work so as you see we say have this problem okay okay now it uh, i refresh as now the problem is gone so now as you see this is type you know password because we define the password so if we remove this let's refresh and try again it's working because i think because we need to define the initial values okay yeah we just needed to define the initial values okay so now we have the values that we want for, for the form so we have the email which is going to be this one for this input that we named email and also the password is going to be for this input that we passed right here by the name password okay but the thing i don't want to use the values right here i want to use them here because they give you more freedom to work with so we're gonna have a state right here and everyone knows what a state is so i'm gonna have login i'm gonna set login and it's gonna be use state for you if you don't know what use state you're probably not gonna be in this course but if you don't know simply you define a variable which is gonna be login but this time if you want to change the variable you're gonna use the set login and then you change the variable by anything so for example just so you know for example we have a value for login okay so if we console log the login right here and we're gonna go if we have to open the console as you see this is the value of login okay see so this is just a variable you can go and set the login let's call it welcome okay and now you can console log the login and it's gonna be welcome okay because we change the value of it. it's gonna be welcome okay because we change the value of it so right here let's go up and it's gonna be welcome okay 
So I know this was a bit necessary because probably you know this, but you know. Now we're gonna pass a variable. Let's call it uh, login infos, okay? And we're gonna define this right here. So the const infos, let's go back right here. So the const uh, login infos is gonna be an object that has the image and it's gonna be the initial value right here, also the password, and it's gonna have the initial value right here. So we're gonna we, we're gonna remove this right here so be, because this email and password we want to get them you know from here okay and the way that we're going to do it first of all let's extract them so we're going to go and get the email and the password from the login okay so now we extract them and now we set the values from this state okay and not from inside the formic and to make sure that it's work we can just use enable enable reinitialize and now it sure it make sure that these values are you know reinitialized by the values that we have in this state okay so uh, right now what we're going to do is just we're going to link you know when, when we write something right here you want it to add to the email okay when you write something like in the email you want the, uh, the variable email email to change and you write something in the password you want the value of the password to change so the login infos that we're going to use to login is going to be the email and password so you want to fulfill them bit with whatever the user writes for the for these inputs okay so we have the on change so it's going to be right here and right here so the on change the on change and it's going to be a function let's call it handle login change okay and we get a problem because we don't have this uh, function right here so we're going to have cons and list the function and you're going to get the events and we're going to do everything right here okay so let's see for example we want to console log the login okay it's right here and we open the terminal we're going to see let's go up we're going to have uh, this problem right here okay let me refresh okay and we get right here so we have the email and the password this is the login objects okay we console log this right here if we change like the email right here something as you see is going to change and we're going to show us the new uh i don't know what's the problem let me refresh and as you see this is the email okay so this is the email okay it's been changed so the way we're going to do it is simply in this function we're going to first of all extract and the name and the value and we're going to get them from the events to the target and the way that this is simply we get the name and we we'll also get the value so right here we have the name okay so the name we get it using the event the target so the event goes to this input and look for the name okay the target that name and we're going to get the email so this is name is going to be for this example email and the value is simply is going to be what the user is, okay right here okay so this is quite simply what we did right here and now we want to change the login you know a variable we're going to change it to the new one okay so first of all we're going to spread the login so we're going to keep everything all right to what it was and then we're going to change whatever the name was for example it's going to be the uh, the email or the password and then we're going to change it with the value so this is simply what we did so right now we can write anything and as you see it's going to change right here we can write anything in the password and as you see it's been added to the object so this was how you link the values to an input with formic so it's quite you know was quite easy to be honest so this way we linked everything and now we're going to work like uh, on the errors to understand how to use yap and formic to get the errors you have